Welcome to Yanko Africa's YouTube channel. My name is Ama and you're all welcome. I'm especially excited about uh, this year's first annual uh, Best Dressed African Countries, the top five African countries with the best dressed men. And hopefully we'll be doing this, you know, as long as we're on this platform, but we'll definitely have it on our uh, website as long as we have that going. All right. So I welcome each and every one of you. And I do want to just kind of summarize really quickly before we get into this. The uh, criteria that I use to select uh, the, the top five countries with the t best dressed men. Now, this is not going to be individuals. It's going to be based on the country itself. All right. But I do want to tell you that I know that we all have our favorites. I have my favorite. My favorite actually that I know is the best dressed or the best dressed men on the continent is actually not number one. And simply because they just did not have my first criteria, criteria uh, as, as I thought that they should. Okay. And and that was representation on the internet with quality photos, quality pictures, those who are modeling those designer items are those, you know, those garments. It just wasn't there at the top level quality that the, the second runner who, well, the person who is now in first place um, uh, is. They're just not, okay? And so they are there, but they're not uh, in the first place, okay? So I just shared with you my thoughts just in case you guys wanna know, all right? But I also want to tell you the top five criteria that I use. So first of all is representation on the internet. Okay. The number one spot has a saying among their people that says all is packaging. And that's true. All is packaging. You can have the best item, the best garment, the best whatever, but it's in how you package it. And number one certainly packages their items, their garments in a wonderful way. They put it out there and that's why they're number one. The second thing is expansive. How expansive is the wardrobe? Does the, does the guy have you know choices or is he stuck in one particular style each day all right the third is manageability how easy is it for him to manage that garment cleaning care for it you know just wearing it the fourth is identifiable this is very important when I see him do I know what country he is from okay I think that's very important okay and then the last is adaptability okay although we want to be be able to maintain our culture we want to be you know proud and wearing our own garments at times we want to wear gar garments that we still represent who we are as a people but we don't draw all the attention to us with our garments so how adaptable does he have choices among the designs of garments that are adaptable to any type setting internationally okay all right so those are my criteria I hope that you enjoy it thanks for tuning in I love you all and Shalom. I'll see you on the next year.
Yeah, yeah. Hey. Ship from the shores of Cape Coast, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Senegal, black gold they were hauling. 400 years it was hard then. Kept striving to be free from Marcus the Bois. Can't forget Kwame. For reparations, they did pray to unite in their honor. We do say, yeah.